All this is Dr. Moveen Sayyid from drbean.com. Welcome to one more show. So let's have a quick chit chat. How is everything doing? Should we look at, uh, now that we were looking at the um, stats, I think it would be interesting to look at the general trends in the world. So if we go here, so this is Ireland. If I go to, if Doug was here, he would say the ducks, the, the mouse is still, <laughs> excuse me. So here, this is coronavirus pandemic, um, daily new cases. It is, it's a one big wave, second big, big wave, third and almost declining again. How about daily new deaths still? Worldwide, seven day average, reducing. So that is the world. Tell me, how about if we also look at Israel's data? I hope I can have the Israel's dashboard. Israel vaccination dashboard I have to find where was that dashboard no this is not it give me one quick second I'm gonna find the link so there's a question here. I'm going to look at questions too. Uh, Roman is here. Hey, Roman, how are you? Skyfrog, how are you? So many. Joy Fisher. Hello, everyone. D Diaz, how are you doing? What was the day today? <laughs> what was the kind of day today? Uh, there was a question I saw. Now what says, without N-protein antibodies, can the virus replicate within macrophages? Without the... N protein antibodies. Okay, let me, I'll have to think about that for a second. So let's do it together. So if I share my screen. So here is the virus. Virus has, this is the RNA material, let's say and the RNA is protected with N proteins, nucleocapsid proteins. So you're saying that if we do not have N protein antibodies, that means antibodies against N proteins, can the virus replicate in a macrophage? So I think this doesn't really matter other than if we have the antibodies, then the virus will be killed and fine. So let's say the antibodies are not there, virus is present. Can virus, I'll rephrase your question, maybe incorrectly, apologies for that. The, the question then becomes, can the virus infect, not, yes, infect and divide and replicate, not divide, replicate in a macrophage. Usually macrophage can, they, they usually do not have the ACE2 in the same manner and density as other cells have. So generally they're not infected by the virus or not infected as much. But if the virus is able to get into the macrophage, not phagocytosis, phagocytosis is where macrophage actually eats it up in a phagocyte and then it kind of breaks it down. That's a different situation. But if it can infect it, then it will replicate regardless of uh, N protein antibodies. And generally, antibodies act on a virus or, or any pathogen outside of a cell. If something is gotten inside the cell, then we can do much other than just killing that cell. There is no other mechanism to protect.
So one second, I'm going to just look for the Ireland data link. Oh, sorry, Israel. Okay, so I got it. So this is the Israel's dashboard, which um, I'm just Google translated into English. And I was curious to look at it and I thought we'll look at it together. So here, active patients, age and immunization, active patients per 100 inhabitants so it's a rate and so not vaccinated is blue vaccinated is deep green and vaccinated without validity is that um, what does that mean vaccinated without validity um, i'm sure that there is a different he hebrew word that makes total sense i just do not know if the google is translating it correctly so why not i put this link out there if somebody can quickly look at it if they know how to read hebrew so is it three dose versus two dose or meaning without booster is the light green two dose deep green three dose if that is if that is the case then let's look at this middle one it says not vaccinated vaccinated without a booster a light green vaccinated with a booster now if we look at severely ill let's say here thursday 7 10 so 10 7 21 unvaccinated 128 this is what is this data actually showing this is a rate so per 100000 inhabitants so here unvaccinated 128 people per 100000 128.9 vaccinated without a booster i would say 23.5 per 100000 and vaccinated with booster 3.4 per 100,000. That's a huge uh, difference. And then this is also over the age of 60. Over the age of 60. And I was reading somewhere that they were saying, um, <clears throat> so Doug is saying, try being translated, let's do. Um, they were saying that maybe Pfizer's vaccine is really a three shot vaccine. So try Bing, if I put this here, will then Bing translate it? Or should I go to Bing itself? So this is, okay, so let me start Bing, one second. Microsoft Edge. Will this work? Doug, you'll have to teach me. So translate page from Hebrew um, to English. Translate. I'm expecting this is Bing Translate. Doesn't look like Bing Translate. It says the same. Vaccinated without validity, vac vaccinated. Um, let's see. Bing translate. Can I give it a... Link. Oh, 
Okay, so Doug, apologies. I'm just going to use the same assumption that I did before. So see over here, they are saying over 60, severely ill, per 100,000, over the age of 60, there is there are good results here. If we see under the age of 60, then let's say this. On 10-7, unvaccinated getting severely ill were 6. Vaccinated without a booster, 1.6. And vaccinated, I'm assuming, with booster, 0 0.3, under the age of 60 per 100,000. So that also is a very good result. Now, if we go to... Look at this. This is the vaccinated by age group, three doses. So blue is the dose three here. So dose 90 plus, one dose 83%, two doses 80.2%, and three doses 69.3%. So there still are about, let's say, 16.7% people, 90 plus, who are not vaccinated. And then 80 to 89, there are 89.9%. How about youngsters? So if we go for 12 to 15, 55.4% are vaccinated. So 44.6%, am I correct? Not vaccinated. Okay, let's see this, um, how... the death rate is that it's such a terrible thing um, morbidity verified the number of from abroad recovered and died so daily died daily so let's look at this this is 100,000 so this is a rate of death over the age of 60 and let's see here let's Let's go here. This, in here, most of the numbers kind of line up. So unvaccinated, 2.2 deaths per 100,000 over the age of 60. Vaccinated without booster, 2.7 more than unvaccinated. And then with a booster, three doses, 0 0.1 per 100,000, which is really low for um, this age group. Let's look at this number as well. This was kind of an outlier, so I wanted to look at it. Uh, let's look at the numbers before and after. So Wednesday 6, 10, so 10, 6 in the US. Um, unvaccinated deaths 6.7 per 100,000. Vaccinated without a booster 2.7 per 100,000. So almost one third or yeah one third and then immunized zero fully immunized three doses let's go some other place here 10 2 unvaccinated above the age of 60 per 100,000 death rate 8.1 per 100,000 vaccinated without a booster 2.5 per 100,000 and vaccinated with booster i believe is 0 0.2 per 100000 so very good outcome any other data points so let's see a more recent data point this is sunday 10 10 uh, two or three days ago unvaccinated so this is greater than 60 years of age per 100000 death rate unvaccinated 6 Vaccinated with two doses, 0 0.9, so almost more than six times less. Then immunized with full, I would suspect, three doses, 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 to six is what? Three, 18, 19, 18, 19 times less number of deaths. How about younger ages? 
So up to 60 years of age. It looks like the number of people are that are not vaccinated are generally low. So let's see here. Unvaccinated, 610. Unvaccinated, 0 0.2 deaths per 100,000 in people up to 60 years of age. Vaccinated with two doses or three doses, zero. Let's see this number. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, here the vaccinated with two doses is actually more than unvaccinated, double. And then three doses, zero. This is also zero unvaccinated, 0 0.2 vaccinated. And again, please, it is a rate of 100,000. Uh, 0 0.2 vaccinated or more immunized zero three doses zero this is lesser than 60 years of age let's see how many data points were unvaccinated number so 0 0.100 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000.1 and zero i think the data points are just too small to Compare them very, very well. So, what do you think? What does this tell you? The number of verified people entering Israel with number of tests daily, cumulative number of vaccines. <clears throat> this is severely ill and very interesting numbers. Okay, excellent. So that is the, okay, so Doug says raw numbers. So let's start with the same uh, active patients, raw numbers, but please raw numbers have to be seen in context of number of people vaccinated or not vaccinated. The, the cohort sizes are different. So these numbers cannot be seen this way to say, hey, vaccinated have more cases versus unvaccinated because the number of unvaccinated is smaller. So with that disclaimer or heads up, um, let's say active patient, absolute numbers. So here, <clears throat> if I see here, unvaccinated active patient absolute numbers 34 vaccinated without a booster 9 immunized vaccinated with a booster 37 once again they're 90 plus their numbers their cohort sizes are different how different are these i'll just look at one of them so let's say 90 plus 90 plus is here 83.3 percent have at least one dose so that means the 34 absolute number that we saw is from the remaining group. And that remaining group is 16.7%. So 16.7% of 90 plus had 34 absolute infections 34 cases now i don't know if it is vaccinated without is i think it is nine i hope it is not 90 if it was it would show up as a bar so two dose nine and three dose 37 but once again their their numbers are large so two dose are 80 percent and three dose is about 70 percent so 70 percent people versus 17 percent people and infection rate, absolute number is almost similar. So I won't do it for every group, but just generally, let's look at the groups here, 80 to 89, unvaccinated again, smaller group, but vaccinated, cases 131, vaccinated with two doses, 49, vaccinated with three doses, 114, and once again, 80 to 89, if you see here, three dose vaccinated are 78.7%. So 78.7% of this age population had 
114 absolute cases and then the remaining <laughs> so I have to go back up and down so 90.1 minus so about 9.9 percent .9 of the folks that are unvaccinated in this age group had 131 infections so in terms of absolute number more but you could see the absolute numbers could be different depending upon the cohort size now if we go down to the absolute number and number of deaths so let's see here number of deaths and let's say absolute numbers over the age of 60 then we'll see under the age of 60 so once again as we saw the number co cohort sizes are different i'm going to look at this it seems like an outlier so unvaccinated three two doses three one dose one if i go to some other unvaccinated seven so again a smaller cohort two doses two three doses three so most of the time if you you can see here the blue line is above the other two lines, which tells me that the not vaccinated above the age of 60 have more absolute number of cases, even when their percentage, the overall group size is smaller. Now, if I went to under the age of 60 or until the age of 60, then Let's see here, 201, this is 000, zero, zero. here 500, zero, zero. 300. Zero, zero. So to me, what is interesting is that a smaller group of unvaccinated has equal or more in many cases. Um, cases or deaths and in percentage it is actually very very clear okay so let's see here let's look at the comments here So John Titor says, what do you think about COVID affecting the brainstem as a reason for long haul symptoms? So I have yet to read that study. There is a study that somebody shared that is the brainstem malfunction in long haul. So I have to read it to be able to comment on it. So give me a couple of days. Remember today, tomorrow I'm, I'm appearing on FLCCC. I think it is four o'clock Pacific time and seven Eastern time uh, with Dr. Keith, um, Keith Berzowski, I believe. He is an excellent physician. So we'll talk about long COVID and then um, <laughs> guess who's here? This is Kyrie. So we'll talk about long COVID. Let me show you if I can put on Luffy cam. Look what she's doing. She doesn't eat the leaves, but she would just lick the the leaves. So um, Doug is saying, when do we go Odyssey? My plan was to go Odyssey today, but again, we had Paul. So tomorrow, because I'm going to be on FLCCC, so maybe tomorrow we just do Odyssey in the evening. So um, <laughs> Barbara says, go Dr. Bean on FLCCC. So I want to foreshadow a tiny bit of uh, news as well 
remember I had said that we somebody else had complained as well and we are still under audit for something else. It seemed like a part, a big part of my business will become canceled. Today I received some update and that was um, uh, not as very good uh, news. So we'll see how it goes. But it looks like from all <laughs> from all fronts and dimensions, people are attacking whichever way they can. And it is hurting. It's not that it is not hurting. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so today I was thinking, <laughs> many times people look at my cool beans, look at my drawings and say, well, if the medicine didn't work out, you can become an illustrator. So I might be nearing the time of becoming an illustrator. <laughs> So with this, uh, I just need your support. Let's continue to go as far as we can. Um, <clears throat> the <laughs> It is still about COVID and it is still about things like lufemectin. And uh, R Robert says, don't capitulate. That is correct. But Robert, the problem is I'm handling these things alone. So it is time, distraction, stress, money, lawyers. And then uh, with the today's um, communication, it seems like it seems like my business would die. And so that means a lot more issues than just standing strong. So we'll see. We'll see um, how it pans out. So we, we, we will see again. I'm so sorry that for a few days now, <laughs> Every day I tell you something new and kind of make you sad with me. The thought was that we will be together happy and go through this and navigate this in a more strong and better way, in a relaxed way. So um, this is how the life is. So I'll keep you up to date. We'll see how it goes. If something drastically wrong happens to my business, I, <laughs> I will have to figure out how do I bounce back. Um, but um, hopefully, hopefully it will be okay. All right. So with this, let's uh, stop for today. Please do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, and share. And um, you can also just play my videos and leave them playing, and that gets me ad revenue. <laughs> that can help too. But anyways, if you would like to support this work, there are links in the description too. You can support it. I was uh, communicating with some of the folks. Uh, and actually it's so interesting they are while I'm speaking they are communicating here um, so so please remember this is not just happening to me I'm just looking at text messages some very very beloved doctors, some popular doctors, we have a group. And it's not just me. Everyone is being hammered. And there was an interesting comment by one of the people, I think you, you respect him very much, without giving his name away. He was saying that the other side is so strong and this side is because everyone has been an independent actor. We have all, all learned to stand on our own feet and, and walk. That we have, uh, we do not know how to work together and defend ourselves. So everybody is standing on their own place and trying to fend themselves. And they're falling because one person cannot, uh, you know, defend against all these multiple attacks. So it is not just me. It's happening to a lot of people. And he said, uh, I really respected his communication. 
he said that uh, it is extremely difficult as each person has grown up so extremely difficult to become a unit to defend as each person has grown up as an independent actor we are now forced to learn interdependence as adults and most are not up to that challenge so <clears throat> so anyways <laughs> with this sorry about this last little uh, news about me uh, so i'll see you tomorrow on flccc four o'clock on flccc with with keith I would try that if we become free from there in time, then we do a chit chat as well. Otherwise, tomorrow our meeting would just be trying out Odyssey together. So with this, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, of course, day after as well. Bye bye. Um, much more. This is very correct. Westfield says this too shall pass. Yes. When it happens, it seems like this is the end of the world, but you're correct. Um, these things would pass as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support, your love, your care for being here with me. And we would see each other tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.